When Opportunity Knocks by Tasneem Inam I am Ahmed Ahmed the garbage picker Ahmed the older brother who must work to feed his siblings and mother Ahmed the stutterer Ahmed the student who had to drop out of high school after his father committed suicide Ahmed the merchant of Kolachi I grew up in the big city therefore like all city kids I dream of what do I dream I envy who do I envy I pray how can I believe in god I even smile how is this possible I grab the opportunity for a better life late one thursday mr rashid came in for his usual haircut irfan barked ahmed sahib is here get him seated and prepped I knew the routine well drape the cloth with flair always oil and massage the hair grimy and black from the smoke and soot in the streets yet cool to the touch the luxury of an air conditioned car an air conditioned salon an air conditioned home shampoo rinse dry ready all for rupees 10 per day oh yes i am paying off my father's debt i am sure for the rest of my life my head soons now do it now or never opportunity i had read in school oh so long ago never knocks twice mr rashid was asleep i did it this is not the end of the world ammi are you ready is everyone here let's go come on i will carry our pot rehman you carry your clothes move 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 a new life yes opportunity does not knock twice we all reached a new home shelter with a roof not the sidewalk a new start no more rag picking from the barber shop to get food i am now in school i ride the waves with my new friends after all fishing is in my blood i am a kola child Later in school I learned how to read add and speak like Mr Rashid a distant dream now a haze a mirage languages are my forte i can fluently speak the local languages sindhi balochi pashto punjabi urdu gujarati meekani as well as english french and arabic they tell me i waste myself here perhaps opportunity will knock again the big city wears you down why is family important i could be anything do anything if i didn't have to feed them ammi says i am a good son a good son helps his family and how do i help them out of this misery yes yes i am a good boy i am clever i will not let them suffer any more opportunity shall i take it clean a very clean it was so easy now i am a businessman a merchant yes I have a house, a car too, and servants. I am Mr. Rashid. I go to Irfan's for my weekly shave. They don't even recognize me. I go twice a week sometimes. I like to test them. Will they recognize me? Oh my God, that is it. They cannot, even in their wildest dreams, imagine that it could be me. Little Ahmed, rag picker Ahmed. A phone call. May I speak with Mr. Ahmed? I am calling from the AD Center. A sweet, melodious voice. Who is behind that voice? I must know. I want to meet her. Yes, this is him. What can I do for you? We would like you to come down to identify someone, please. The address is I don't listen any further. A person who why should I identify them? How did they get my number? Shanmugan in the center on Tadig Road quickly. Stop at La Bolangeri. I must eat. Ji sahib right away. What kind of name was Shan Mugan? I never asked him where he was from. Did he have family? I shake my head to clear it. What am I doing? Sahib, Edi, I alight from my BMW 7. Only the better than best of for Ahmed, the rag picker. Why is this coming back to me today? There is a dilapidated desk, but the most serene face behind it. She must be the one. That voice. Then I hear it. Sweet syrupy, just like the molasses Ami used to give me with the paratha. 
She would save all month so I could have the treat. She would give it to me at 2 a.m. when everyone else was asleep. She made sure I would not have to share it with anyone. I, Arhuku, good son, I shake my head. Why today? What is wrong? I only took opportunities where I saw them. Anyone else would have done the same. Yes, you called me to identify someone. Come this way, please, Mr. Emmer. Do you know who this is? I am jerked out of my reprieve, a pleasant dream that I relish. Black walls all around. Actually, I think they are white. Cockroaches in the corner. That smell, I know it. I am used to it. My head spins reeling. Ammi, Rahman, Fawzia, Isra, Bilal, Hadia. Oh, so long ago, a lifetime of opportunity. That smell again. The garbage heap. Left from the hospital dump. Twenty steps straight ahead, then jump over the slimy green glittering stream of diamonds and sewage. Turn right, then where? Yes. Yes, it is coming back. Turn right and I see the Mazar in the distance. The dream of a state of equals, the final resting place of the creator of Pakistan, the land of opportunity. Mr. Ahmed, do you know this person? I look past Miss Telephone Voice at an old shriveled heap. So thin that it is more flat than wide, a piece-sized bun on the top of the head. It must be a woman. Bleeding feet from cuts and scars from poverty. I can't see the face. I maneuver around the heap. I take a look. Dark. Sunburned. Wrinkles. Toothless. Who is it? Ahmed, my good son, I knew you would come home. Look, everyone is here. You are at OMI. In the deluxe private room. The AD ambulance brought you here. I have to go back. How long have I been here? Where is my mobile? I need to make calls. Sit down. You have been in a near fatal car crash on MA Gina Road. A passerby brought you in. You were very lucky. You have been here for over a year. We had given up all hope. Where is Ammi? I am confused. I was at the AD center. I was the good son who came home at last. The last opportunity. I took it. I was with Ammi. I was going to take her home. Beta. My son hit you. We have been praying for your treatment. Do you know where you live so we can take you home? Your mother will be waiting. Do I go back? Back to the smell again. The garbage heap left from the hospital dump. 20 steps straight ahead. Then jump over the slimy green glittering stream of diamonds and sewage. Turn right. A year? They could not have survived. I knew where the best garbage was to be picked. I was responsible. What did they eat? Who protected them? Is this an opportunity? I am injured. I will need money. I will need a house, food, clothes, school and my family. I don't know my name. I don't know where I live. Land of opportunity. I can see the Kyle's mausoleum in the distance. Yes, this is what destiny is. Help. Where am I? I don't know. I am at the merchant of Kolachi. Not a dream anymore.